Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in my household, it's me, my husband, and our 11 month old little boy. So this week is gonna look a little bit different than other weeks. It is Thanksgiving week, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of cooking because I am cooking um, Thanksgiving dinner for the first time for our households because we're not traveling. So these are gonna be light meals that we're gonna be having. I'm gonna be using stuff out of my fridge, freezer, and pantry because I don't want a lot of leftovers um, when Thanksgiving comes around. So for dinner tonight, I used up some stuff from my freezer. We are having hot dogs that I made in the air fryer. I have never made air fryer hot dogs before and I've been told that they taste like grilled hot dogs and they look like it. They look really, really good. I only cooked them for about, I think six minutes at 400 in the air fryer and they turned out really good. And this is a brand that we used. Um, I have this in my freezer, like I said, bun length Angus beef Oscar Mayer hot dogs. And then I had some leftover chili in my freezer that I made a couple of months ago, hot dog chili. So I'll make sure to leave that what's for dinner video in the description box if you're interested in seeing how um, the hot dog chili was made. But here is my husband's plate. He's got two chili dogs and he's just got some sliced cheddar cheese on there. That's what we had open in the fridge and that's what I wanted to use. Normally we use shredded cheddar cheese, but I'm just trying to use up what we already have. And then he is having ultimate cheddar Doritos and this is what the package looks like. And then this is my plate and I am having farm stand ranch chips. These are kettle chips. And again, this is something that we had in our pantry and I just wanted to use. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having tamales and rice and beans. And I was perusing through one of my cookbooks and I saw a recipe that I wanted to try out. I had everything on hand, so it's perfect. So in my skillet here, I have a can of diced chilies and I have um, an onion and some butter and I've sauteed that. To it, you're supposed to add, the recipe said a can of corn. It didn't say which size, um, but just one 15 ounce can seemed like not enough. So I'm gonna add two. I'm gonna give this a stir. And if you're wondering about the diced tomatoes, these, I'm sorry, diced chilies, this is what they are. It's just a small four ounce can. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box as well. And then to this, you're supposed to add half a pound of grated Monterey Jack cheese. And then you're just supposed to let it all kind of come together, melt down. So let me add in my Monterey Jack. And once the Monterey Jack melts down, you're supposed to add in some sour cream. So we shall see how this turns out. So I'm just gonna let this melt down and then when everything else um, is ready, I will show you our plates. So here is our plate. Well, actually this is my husband's, but mine looks like his without the avocado. But here is that corn dish and it actually tastes pretty good. We both tasted it. It kind of reminds me of a Mexican cream corn. Um, so it's pretty good. And like I said, I'll leave the recipe um, in the description box and I'll tell you the variations that I made to it. And we're just having some black beans that I doctored up and seasoned up, canned black beans from Aldi. This is what I used. And then I made some jasmine rice. My husband has avocado. And then these tamales I had in my freezer and they are from Trader Joe's. And I just steamed them in a pot on top of the stove for about 25 minutes. And here they are. They are the cheese and green chili. So we've never had these before, but like I said, they were in my freezer and I needed to use them. So used up quite a few things for my freezer and pantry today. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these Tyson Anytizer Wings Honey Barbecue. They were in my freezer, wanted to use them. As you can see, they did get a little overdone. Um, this was my first time using this air fryer that I got from Costco. They had these on sale um, like, a, I guess, maybe two weeks ago or so. And so I graduated from a two quart to a fancy six quart. And this has um, like preset settings and I use the preset settings and I guess that was too long and they're a little bit overdone, but that's fine. This is what we're having for dinner. With it, I just made some pastaroni. This is the chicken flavor, a fettuccine and a creamy chicken flavored sauce. And this is what it looks like on the plate. And then we're just having the leftover corn from the other night. Like I said, I don't want any leftovers in the refrigerator for Thanksgiving. I don't want it to be, oh, Harrison's unhappy. I don't want my refrigerator full of leftovers. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. This is the first year in our married life that Howard and I have not traveled to see family on Thanksgiving. We are spending it at home. And so this was my very first time making Thanksgiving dinner for our household. So let me show you what I made. Um, I made homemade cornbread dressing and I have worked on this recipe for years. I think I finally might have it right and with some dressing. Howard made a ham, spiral ham, and then I made some green beans with ham hocks. I made some baked macaroni and sweet potatoes, and this is actually my plate. Only thing I didn't make is bread. I just did not feel like making bread, but I do kind of wish that I had now. And this is Howard's plate. There's the ham. Howard does not like cornbread dressing at all. He will only eat stovetop, so that is what he has. He has stovetop with uh, gravy and then green beans and macaroni and cheese. So um, this is going to be the last dinner video for this week because we're gonna be having leftovers for a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you all next time.